Good afternoon. It is Saturday in Perth, Australia. And again, it is a Saturday and it's really, really hot. So this time I have my hair up. My makeup's probably sliding off my face. My Drift Bunny shirt on because you can't go wrong with Drift Bunny. Definitely look Drift Bunny up. You need some Drift Bunny in your life. So, to start off with this video, I don't actually really know what to talk about in the beginning of the video, but I'm just going to ramble on like no tomorrow. I'm going to install my new seat belt. I ordered one online from Seatbelt King, I believe they're called, in the eastern states, and it literally took one whole week to get here. It was so good because my last one didn't bloody work. Whose fault's that? Well, I don't really know. So this time I'm going to undo everything that I did last weekend and do it all again. But because I've already done it once before, it shouldn't be too hard. Ha ha ha! Yeah, that's what they all say. It shouldn't be too hard. So, let's get on to what we're going to do today. Well, I sweat all my makeup off. Now we all know how small the S13 black seat is. I'm sure it's the same in any Sylvia and how much space we have to work in. It's not really that much. So in saying that, I'm just going to tell you what we have to do and then we're going to do it and then I'll show you to what we have to do when we get to the next part. Okay? I must also do a disclaimer. Me changing my seatbelt over should actually be done by a professional. So I do not recommend doing this at home unless you know you're confident enough to do it because it is your safety we're talking about. We're not talking about taking a little turtle for a little walk down the road. Okay? So make sure you go to a professional and don't do it in your little Hyundai gets. It's not recommended. First of all, we have to take the side panel off, which is this one here. And as you know, in all Esther teams, there's always something missing. Like here, there's a hole right here. That's because I lost whatever's supposed to go in there. Make sure you put all your parts in a safe space. The roof is usually good. Like so. you do well you see my two chins you pull the other side the back seat is now a bit empty sherbet straw probably a little bit of money it's really yucky and messy in here and then there's my seat which one day I would actually like to change the color of that So instead of losing the 10mm socket, I've lost the 12mm socket. So I'm going to see if the 13mm socket will work. So after all that, I had to use a ratchet. So we also have to undo this seatbelt for the back. Make sure it's on straight, even if you use your knee. Oh my god, that does work! Yeah, use your knee. Take off this, which you can actually buy this on EFI Solutions, I believe. But it's about a hundred and something dollars for just the one side. So you can also go to Bunnings and buy some there. And you just measure the size and then you get brand new. Brand new.
what I mean is don't break these clips because once you've broken them the inside of the interior doesn't sit in nicely and then everything will rattle and if you take any passengers in your car they're gonna say why does the car rattle so much my master frame doesn't rattle so there's a bolt here we have to undo this one that holds it in and then there's a bolt here So we'll undo that and then take the seat belt out and then I'll get the other one and we'll put it in. Oh, forgot, have to take that one off too. The last time this broke and I'm so sad. So if anyone has one, will you please give it to me? I'll pay you $5 and $5 delivery because now it's broken. A little piece of my heart fell out. Just leave it how it's supposed to be. And pull it off and pull those, put those back on. So they're all together like this. So then, when you go to put it back together, you can't really see it, and you're probably thinking this video is that. Like this, you pull these off, and you take the big washer on. And then when you go to put it back together, you put these on once you put it through the seat belt hole. Oh. Okay? Comprende? Just like that. Now put that over there and remember that it's for the top. Okay? Now let's go on a mission. So the new one actually gave me But we'll just use this plate on here instead. We also need to use this sleeve. So we'll just pull it out. Like a thong. Feels like a thong. A new buckle. So that means I have to take the front seat out too. And attach this on. And this is the new seat belt. Brand spanking new. And it retracts, except I have no muscles, so I can't do it. It's got all new belts. Oh my gosh, it even has a new one. I don't need a new one, so I take that $5 back now. Might because it has all maybe I still need to use the old one because it goes with the car. Because this is just a seat belt for a replacement seat belt. A universal one, that's what they call it, universal. That means the bolts might not fit and I might just have to use the ones that I pulled out. 
And there you have it. Now we're going to see if it will fit. And there you have it, boys and girls. And gender Pacific people, lamps, and whatever else you describe yourself as. A brand new seat belt under the Australian Vehicle Lords, blah blah blah. Because we all know we don't want to go flying out the windscreen, that just means you have to buy a new windscreen and that's probably $300 out of your pocket. So that's not what we want, do we? Okie dokie, time to take out the front seats and replace the seat belt clicker thing whatever it's called all right thanks for watching kindra's annoying channel more tools back seat oh yeah my anti-theft device because i don't want anyone to steal my car definitely recommend 16 dollars from ebay or you can just get one of those um, anti-theft devices and stick it into your car properly so it has this really cool alarm so if they were to break in and drive it they don't get down the road all right so yep there's my chair seat I should say it's a seat s14 seat definitely holds you in a lot better better than the s13 seat that's for sure one day one day I'll get some brides one day thanks for watching my video thanks for putting up with my annoying voice um, just thought I'll let you know that I cried during this mission. I also cut my finger while I was trying to find a bolt that fell in the back seat. I didn't have a band-aid so I just used some tape. The tape has been falling off and the blood's been going everywhere. My hair is stuck to the back of my neck. It's all over the place and as I thought my makeup did all slide off. So if you just got to this far of the video, thanks for watching and see you next time on Kindra's adventures of crying with her stupid little car. Bye.